Hey everybody, how you doing? Ted the Atheist here. It is January 9th, 2024. And uh, one of my good loyal fans sent me this video. They asked me to review it. So let's just play it real quick here and I'll respond. Another crazy, crazy video. Crazy. Okay? All right, so I've done watched this video, right? And I was like, you know what? I have to bring it to my people. Bro, my this people. man said a very dangerous message, okay? Very dangerous. Now, he said very dangerous. So let's see what he means by that. Is it dangerous? We'll see. It's very, very dangerous. Okay, basically this ex-pastor is angry. Oh, it wasn't just dangerous. It was very, very dangerous. So remember that when going through and watching this video, it's going to be dangerous, like super, super, super dangerous. God. And from what I've seen, I think he is an ex-pastor from the other clips that I've seen of this. He is an ex-pastor. At least yes, that's allegedly. He He's an ex-pastor. But apparently this ex-pastor done turned into an atheist. Because, bro... Well, we were all born atheists, so... He said some wild, wild things. Some wild, wild west type of junk. I mean, bro, he... Fam, I... Woo! Anyways, we're gonna go and get to the video because it's crazy. Hit the like button, subscribe to my post notifications. Follow your boy on all social medias down below. Let's get it. Let's go. Yes, I am angry. I'm angry because I lived a lie for 15 years and I believed it with all my heart. I separated myself from my family, friends. I so basically, he was a preacher before and the lie was that he believed in a God and a heaven and hell and all that stuff. Just for context for all of you, some of you who might not be following. I moved, relocated, disassociated myself from everyone or anyone who was not saved. I believe that I could not be unequally yoked together with non-believers. So I turned my back on good people or people who needed me. But it was for the cross's sake, right? It was for the cross's sake. Rather than fearing men, I feared the one who can cast both soul and body in that some place called hell. I took hook, line, and sinker the false story of love called John 316. That's no message of love. That's a message of coercion. Twisting your arm behind your back is a message with the ultimate threats on the end of it. While it says, oh, if you believe, you'll get some cake. But if you don't, I'll burn you. Let me tell you something, every believer. Yeah, I'm mad. Because I care more about people than your God. It is just... Just want to stop real quick, Kayla. You'd be surprised at how many people out there go into this field. To, and Because at the young age, you have to understand, they go in thinking that they want to help people. They care about people. So they're doing something. They're led to believe that this God thing exists and their religion is the way to get into this fictitious heaven. So they And they're convinced through the brainwashing and indoctrination they have when they're younger to think that this is... This is the way. This is reality. So they care about so much about people that go off and then try to save everybody, right? Because they don't know any better because they're delusional because of all the child abuse that happened to them when they're younger by them being lied to by their parents or the people around them and stuff like that. So this guy, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, uh, well, what seems to be the case is he probably had a childhood full of church stuff. And as he got older, he started asking the right questions and he started uh, – uh, coming at the religion the way you should come at it with reason and logic and figuring out it's all a lie. And he did so much in his life that was bad that it caused him to disassociate himself from other people and stuff like that. So, of course, I can understand him being angry. Let, let, let's go on. It's the book. It ain't real. The God of the Bible is the devil of the Bible. I don't say that to be mean. I say that because it's a fact. It ain't no such thing as a devil. I'm just using the terms that you're familiar with. Yeah. It was the God of like, the Bible that drowned people. Yep. It was the God of the Bible that sent animals out of the woods to destroy children. Yep. It was the God of the Bible who chose to unalive all the firstborn in Egypt, even the slaves yep. and even the firstborn of the cattle. It was the maniacal God of the Bible that did that. I just want to add that outside the story of Job, or Job, or however you want to pronounce it, the Satan in the Bible, I don't think, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think he killed anybody. But this God guy sure did. So he has a good case. Uh, this, this, this other black kid uh, trying to uh, respond and do a reaction video to it is acting like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you said that. But it's just common sense. And then intimidating you and I so much to the degree that we would see the wickedness of the character Yahweh in the Bible and deny it and say, no, no, he wasn't wicked. No, it really is our fault. It's us. It's us. No, it's not. Do you know how many people are on the brink of suicide or have committed suicide because they battle within themselves, wondering why loving God made them the way that, they, uh, that he did, but yet uh, because of how they were taught, God, you and your own word condemned me and you made me this way? Do you know how many people are miserable and terrified of the monster in the closet? They can't live their life because they fear that this wicked beast is going to destroy them because... I also want to add that uh, there are people out there who really get scared with like horror flicks. 
and stuff because a lot of the horror movies that that we see have to do with spirits and ghosts and stuff like that but they're extra scared because they actually do believe that there's a god in heaven and hell so it adds an extra layer of scariness to all the stuff they're seeing so it has a real life effect uh believing in stuff that's not true that's it can be negative to your life just i just want to add that they won't find him while he's playing hide and seek while there's no evidence that he even exists or if it's a he it's she they them we don't know but keep in mind this proverbial god is the one that created you and i this way and then said the writers rather said in the book that he established the end from the beginning that none of this is done outside of his will so here's what i want to say first of all to all you beautiful people out there ain't nothing wrong with you you ain't born in no sin shape in no iniquity with some death sentence on you simply because you were born if a programmer developed a piece of software that had a virus we would think something was wrong with that developer if we saw them going crazy over the software and stomping it, jumping up and down, like say, you know, saying, what's wrong with you, software? What's wrong with you? You're going to burn for this. We would think that person was crazy. You see it now, right? Yeah. Uh, for those of you who are not following the analogy, if God created everything and then created the problems to go with everything, and just like the computer guy made the application, but introduced a virus into it to F with the, everyone using the program. So it, it makes sense. You beautiful person who might be gay or whatever, ain't nothing wrong with you. You live your life and you're a beautiful person. It is the Abrahamic religion that makes us mistreat people. You're great people. You're wonderful people. I honestly believe that people would be a lot closer and better off if we didn't have religion separating us. If we all were on the same page and we all followed reason and logic and we all were in touch with reality, we'd have much better communication and much better closeness. A few times in my life where I could have had something special with someone if they didn't have imaginary friends in a cause such a wedge between us. So it, religion really separates people. It doesn't bring us together. It separates people, and that's bad. So I, I agree with him. We just simply believe the book. And please forgive us. Forgive me, because I was the same. I was the same. I was homophobic like many black men while having loved ones who were gay. How dare you? I will be damned and refuse to lift my hands up for any idea of any type of God that would make me in sin, whatever the hell that is, make me worthy of death and then tell me if I don't find him in the midst of all of these claimed fictitious ideas called gods, I'm going to burn for an eternity. Let me tell you something. If you were real, I ain't nobody's sheep. I ain't nobody's slave. And I'm not scared of you or your idea. So if in fact that God was real, burn me. Because I'd rather be with the people, the real ones. I'll stand with them. Burn me. You want to burn me because I love more than you? That's what I would say. Do it. Because I ain't nobody's punk. And you ain't going to threaten me. And don't let nobody threaten you. For all of those that follow me, all my friends, I'm sorry. I'm sure you feel me. But I ain't sorry. And I don't know if I'm a so at the end of the day, yes, Sean is mad. Yes, I am angry. Let's hear it, buddy. What you got for me? That's what I meant when I said he said some wild, wild things. What was wild in there, anybody? Uh, audience, watching my video. What what was wild about what that ex-preacher said? I'd like to know. Because I followed pretty much all of it. Bruh. Bruh. Some wild, wild things, fam. Wild, wild well, things. I'm not here to judge. I don't know what my boy... Didn't he just judge? I don't understand. Why do people think it's bad to judge anyway? It's like, whatever. Been through. I don't know what he's going through, but you can tell that man is hurt. What do you mean what he's going through? He, he just told you what he's going through, bro. Bro. He just left his religion and he realized all the bad things he's done in his life because he followed the religion. Don't you see? He just told you. Yes, he's anger. He's angry. Yeah, he's in pain because of that. And he told you why. You can tell he is. Yep. He, bro, he literally got tears in his Yes, eyes. yes, because he's Something upset. must happen to the point where it got him feeling the way he's feeling, but Lord... Yeah, yes, yes. It's called realizing your whole life was a lie because you were brainwashed and indoctrinated. So I don't know there, buddy. What's your name? What is it? Depends TV. You, watch, you wear Depends while you do this? I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know why you're asking the question. He, he answered it for you, buddy. Forgive him for he do not know what he is doing. What? Forgive him for what? What do you mean? He knows exactly what he's doing. What? What are you talking about? Okay, he does not know what he is saying. What? He's, he's talking How? About emotions. He's talking out of anger. That's, he's not what? even talking in his right state of mind. What? Why? God is so powerful. What that, is that, bro? The fact that you was able to say all that stuff and it was able to get posted and you didn't die in a heartbeat. That's how that's how good God is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's talk about all the babies that burn in hot car hot cars. Right? Or or that become stillborn or they get cancer. Because God, your God is all powerful, right, buddy? Right? Come on now. What kind of gibberish are you gonna tell me? Think about it. 
They I ain't, blasphemy, I'm thinking about blasphemy God. Okay. Wow. No, 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 no. We talked negatively about the imaginary friend that you have. That's what he did. Driving. Anything could have happened while you was driving. And yet you was able to post this video and hopefully God willing you made it to your destination. Right. Maybe because your God doesn't exist. Ha have you thought about that? Maybe he's just not real. I don't know, buddy. But this is what I got to say about this video. Number one, God is a true loving God. What, and a lot of what does that say, mean? Oh, you don't talk about the things that the evil things he did in the Bible and this and that. Before I say what I was going to say, let me say this. I have not read the entire Bible. Okay. I have eh. not read the entire Bible. You should read Exodus 21 where it condones slavery. Hmm? You should do that. Right? Why don't you start there? Bible. I only know, a, I know so much in the Bible. Okay. I know yeah, so much, but yeah. it, it, it's not like I read Genesis all the way to Revelation. Like I have not read the entire Bible. Okay. I just want to throw that out there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But the certain things that people will consider evil that God has did in the Bible. Let's look at what God did before he did what he chose to do. You know what I'm saying? Let, let's look at the prophets that he wrote, that he rose up during that time to, to warn the people what was to come. If they this did guy's going to put me to sleep. sleep. Now let's look at the people. God's still giving everyone he's, free will to do what they choose to do. And it's like, because just look at it. He's putting God me to sleep. It's not going to allow you into the kingdom of heaven. Blah, blah, the blah. Live the way you want to live. Now, my God, God will do this. Heaven, my God, God will do that. The kingdom of heaven. That's him forcing you. That's him literally going against your free will. Because if your free will was look, blah, blah, I blah. Know, look, God, look, I'm going to be real. I want to continue to live in sin and I want to be Oh God. my God. That's what I want for my life. If that is your free will, God is going to allow you to have your free will. But of course you can let me have whatever I want because he's not here. To change your ways, just like back in the Old Testament where God rose up prophets to preach to the people. To oh let my them know that, you need to repent and how they continue to live in their sin. So God, wrath came upon them. God is a loving God. You I thought he was going to respond to what this guy said and said, no, what he's saying is not true. And this is why X, Y, and Z. But it looks like all we're really getting is... The story says this, and the story says that, and I back the story, so blah, 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 blah. Let me repeat more of the story to you. Blah, 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 blah. Like... You know why he's so loving is because he's a parent. You know what parents where, do? Where is he? Children that are he's an absentee so what father. Have to do? Discipline children that are disobedient. And guess what? If you raise children right in the first place, they won't be disobedient. What? Like I said before, God gives everyone free will. If we all fall... How do, you, how do I know that, buddy? Come on. Is, is this just preaching time, dude? Like, really? Like, you're not giving us any information, man. All the laws of God. If we all follow love What laws? Other, love you mean the laws that man wrote and the unknown authors wrote in your Bible? Follow them to pretend they came from a God? That's what we should do? That, uh, love one another as you love thyself. You know what I'm saying? We all follow these simple laws. Do not uh, murder. Uh, do not steal. This world will be so much better off, but we don't even follow the simple the simple laws that God has commanded us to follow. We look at those oh, laws God. like, oh, I ain't finna follow those laws. God not finna do this. Or this, or this, or this. Is this so just God preaching? These laws this is really in, lame. In order so that we can be able, so that he can Blah, blah, us. blah. That's, that's Why should anyone like believe any of this? To protect us from things to come if we follow into these deep paths. So if what? we murder, it's to protect us from jail or from protecting us from other people to come after us because we murdered one of their people. Why do we need the Bible to tell us that? The laws that to protect us don't have sex outside of marriage. This, like, people look at that and That's go, oh, too late. I can't get none. No, it's to protect you from soul ties. It's to protect you from babies outside of wedlock. It's to protect you from these things. Marriage is really bad for men. So let's not put too much importance on marriage. It's not good. It's, until they rewrite the, mar uh, the divorce laws or marriage laws here in the USA, uh, pay no attention to these people trying to tell you to get married. It's, it's not going to help you, men. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's truly to protect you from these things. But people go against that, then they wonder, why is my life like this? Why do I feel like this? It's because you wasn't, you're not following God. When you start to oh my God, gosh, you know, it's just preaching. And, He's just preaching. Us, then you start to understand that, okay, I see oh my gosh, should I skip it's ahead, guys? Because so this guy is here so that we can be protected from whatever's to come if we do. It turns out a little bit because his voice is annoying to me. Put, look, the tree was there. He said, don't eat from this tree, but he gave them the free will to do whatever they choose to do. But he said, why did he make the tree in the first place? He, he, he framed Eve, didn't he? Come on, buddy. What else do you have to say? He's, he gave them enough knowledge to understand that, okay. No, okay. he didn't give them knowledge. They didn't have knowledge until they ate from the tree. It's a stupid story. They didn't know they were naked until they ate from the tree. Why did he put the tree there? Why did he put the fruit there? It's a dumb story. You can't eat from the tree. But what they didn't do? He came into the garden. He tempted the woman. Eve. Eve right. ate the apple. And, and, and nothing happens outside of this God's will. So what? Is the serpent invisible to God's radar? His supernatural radar? Right? No. The serpent, little Satan dude, he was just doing what God wanted because nothing happens without God. Really? It's, it's such a dumb story, man. People like this, they don't think before they actually read something. And st He's not doing his own homework. He doesn't know how to ask the right questions. It's just, this is just sad, man. 
nothing happened. Okay, she passed it on to the man who God gave the order to. What happened? All sin fell into the world. That is the basic story behind. It's a bad sin. story. You know it's a bad so story. Say, oh, that's the sin and this and that. Like that's the basic. You said sin or whatever that is. First of all, bro, you know what sin is. If you was a believer in Christ, you know what sin is. But this is nope. also people's problem is that people, they just know of God, but they don't know God. So when God doesn't meet their needs in that moment, they have anger towards God. They start to blast. How can you have anger God. towards you something just, you, you don't believe, believe exists? Say yes to everything that you want him to say. Yes. Is he going to say something say meaningful no, yet? And when God say no, like a parent would tell you no, it's because it's another door that may be open for you. You know what I'm saying? And what I'm saying? Unequally yoked or being unequally yoked. You said that you you turned your back on people who needed you and people that loved you. You turned your back. God didn't tell you to turn your back. Oh, come on. There's plenty of religions out there that make you turn your back on people if they don't believe the same way you do. Scientology, JWs, to name a couple. And you can easily find stuff in the Bible that probably promotes that as well if we look through it enough. Because the Bible is just all about interpretation. Being unequally yoked is simple as this. When you a one accord. Okay. Is he's not going to say anything of importance here? That's why the Bible say smoke weed. Oh my gosh. Do all these things and you just Dude, you're not You don't have Is this just you rambling? Like you you only around these people. Guess what you're going to be? Like you're going to be just like these people. You know why? Because 15 minutes of you rambling. That is a true statement. I always said I wasn't going to How is this helping anybody? When I was in the world, or when I first gave my life to Christ, I was around people who smoked. Gave my life to Christ. What does it even mean? So I only had people around me that was smoking weed, that was cussing, that was drinking, <gasps> cussing, that was sex, cussing's that was bad, I I sex is bad. Anything. All I did was do online church on the equally yoked around. Oh me. my so god. Okay, can I skip ahead, guys? That's I'm sorry. Don't this guy's just. Don't say. Oh, it was for the This guy's just. No, because God didn't turn. When Jesus came on this earth, did he turn his back on people? We don't know Jesus ever here, buddy. Oh, heal somebody. I just got. Like, I gotta skip ahead, guys. This is. Last me didn't know none of that. All I knew was there was a God. All I knew that. How do you? I love God, but. Okay, tell us how we can know there's a God. Right? Oh, you can't do that. That's right. Okay. Well, uh... I was mad. You know what I'm saying? You could be mad. Just get the end here. Don't blast me, God, when you're mad. Don't allow... You don't believe in a God, so... I mean, we, I mean, we don't believe in a God, so... Does it, he doesn't believe in a God. The guy... The, he doesn't believe in one. So why would you tell him not to blaspheme something he doesn't believe in? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, your anger to control you because your anger is just... A no, anger is not controlling him. He's expressing his anger, right? Like, this guy has no clue. It's a footstool for the devil. The devil loves when you There's angry, no such thing as a devil. No, it's good to be negative sometimes. Sometimes it's good to be negative and to express it. It's good to express ourselves. We should not tell ourselves that being negative or angry is bad. They're necessary. Okay? Doing all these different things. Don't allow the devil. Blah, 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 blah. Let me get skip ahead. You have a chance. You know what I'm saying? You have a chance, bro. What? Yeah, man. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get off this video. Yeah, yeah. You're done, dude. I'm so tired of that. I'm going to try to send this guy. This video when I'm done. So basically, uh, beginning of beginning of the uh, video here, uh, basically, he said that it's dangerous. That this ex preacher was saying stuff that was dangerous, and then he said it was very very dangerous. As you, you guys remember, it's important to recognize that what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I've ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. At no point did he say anything about what was dangerous that he said, right? He said nothing about it was what was dangerous or very, very dangerous. I was waiting to hear that the whole time, but it certain seems like this guy just disagreed. He didn't like that this ex-preacher is an ex-preacher and now he's an atheist again. He doesn't like that. And he just said it was dangerous. And then his complete 15 minutes of rambling was just him preaching and telling you more about the Bible. Like, that's really going to get us anywhere during the conversation. This guy, I mean, I love to debate him, but he's just, he's not kind of anything for me. I mean, nobody does. I mean, nobody can debate me. Not that I'm something special, but this is just easy stuff. I was hoping he'd come up with something like, no, he's wrong because of X, Y, and Z. And then I would love to explore that those reasons he gave and, and come back and dissect them. But he gave nothing but rambling. And I'm sorry, this is not such a... Uh, good important and uh, i'm sorry this is not such a juicy video for you guys i was hoping for some more content it's not the good thing we come out of this though is we have a guy who's probably very knowledgeable in the bible and you know all about christianity and now he's an atheist again so now he can have a very powerful message something he can bring to everybody and uh, help others who need it and he can uh relate to people better than i can because i was never i never believed in any god of any kind i was never religious uh, my immediate family were were all atheists. My mom and dad, everyone was an atheist. I even know an older brother. I had a middle brother. He deleted himself when he was like 20. 
my father died of alcoholism when I was eight, so I didn't really get to know him too well. But everyone in my family was an atheist. Uh, I have an older brother. He believes in some God, Jesus stuff, so he's not quite right in the head. But um, for the most part, my entire family was with was an atheist, were atheists. So uh, I don't really have that to relate to people when I talk to them. But this guy definitely does. So uh, props to him. Uh, although he went through a lot of hard times uh, to get to this point, hopefully he'll be able to make up for the stuff that he, he lost. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, remember, truth matters. And always ask questions. Don't assume that you can't know something because we should be able to know everything. And if we don't know something, then just say, I don't know. It's okay. It's honest. Thanks. Peace.